Oh man, I feel like I'm on last minority standing. Uh, 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 I, I don't know how this happened, but uh, I'm gonna have the first masturbation joke of the evening. So I'm very excited about this. There's gonna be many more comics on the show. Uh, no, it's always annoying when you're watching a porno and you come at the wrong time. Like a close-up of the guy's face or something like that. Uh, I feel like I have the worst cum story. The worst one. Is I was watching a porn on my laptop. And it was resting on my chest. And I was getting to the end, you know, like, of me. And then all of a sudden, my computer just dies. And the screen went all black. So I was forced to orgasm to a close-up of my own face. <laughs> so, I, I mean, at least now I know what my cum face looks like, right? It looks a lot like this. It's <laughs> being ecstasy. I got uh, picked up by a gay guy on the bus a few weeks ago. But, like, he really picked me up. Like he got me. Like he won. He just walked right up to me, and he shook my hand, and he said, I get off in a few stops, and I'd love to go for coffee with you. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm meeting a friend, which is true. He doesn't even know his gaydar's broken, it's fine. But then I had to get off at the same stop as him. And then we walked in the same direction for eight minutes. And he told me about his day, I divulged some information about myself. I was trying to act as straight as possible, now, which is hard, which gives me new issues to deal with now. And then he said, well, I know that you're busy, but could I get your phone number? And I looked at him and I was like, sure, okay, 646. I gave him my fucking number. Like he has it now. That's how smooth he was. And as soon as we parted, like he was still in my peripheral vision, he sends me a text. He says, hey Rishi, it was so nice to meet you and I can't wait to see you again. And then I texted back, I said, hey man, uh, I didn't have the heart to tell you this, but I'm not gay. So I don't know where we go from here. But it was the nicest thing that's happened to me in two and a half years, seriously. This is like, like I feel like I should learn from him. Like, I should do what he did to me to other women, you know? But I'll practice on a few guys first, just to just say, you know, I'm gonna my bounds. Uh, you ever get upset when your friends do something nice for you? Like, they set you up on a date with one of their friends, and you show up, and you're like, oh, I get it. We're both just really unattractive. That's how this happened. I dated a girl several months ago, and it didn't work out because she decided to go back to her ex-boyfriend who beats her. <laughs> this is a really big confidence booster for me. Uh, and the only punchline in that story is the one she's standing in. Uh, there's always this myth, they always say that women find a funny guy attractive, right? I don't think that's true. I think they just find attractive guys funny. If that makes sense. All the guys are not in. I feel, because I have a friend, he gets laid all the time, and he should. You know, he's tall, he's white, he's what all the women want. But girls don't say, guy, I fucked him because he's good looking, that's a guy thing. So they say, they'll tell me, like, no, he's sweet, and he's funny, and I'm like, he is none of those things. <laughs> like, he's not not funny, he's funny the same way Pizza Hut is Italian. <laughs> that I guess the picture. I don't know if you guys remember this. A few summers ago, there was this uh, ad all over the place for this movie, and it was just like a white background, and in black writing, it just said, still a virgin, we can help, and there was a 1-800 number at the bottom. I don't know if any of you saw it. Uh, I wanted to call it. Not because I'm a virgin, I just feel like I could use the advice. Like, whatever it is. Like, I lost my virginity a long time ago, but it found me. You know, you know when you haven't had sex in so long, it's not even a memory anymore, it's just like a dream you had once. 
And it makes me really uncomfortable when super sexually experienced people give me graphic details of their escapades. Like, yeah, bro, I brought her home and I had her leg up here. Then I made her squirt on the chandelier. Like, I only have two positions, and one of them hurts. And when you're like me, you analyze your whole life in a different way. Like this handicapped guy grabbed my crotch on the subway, like the whole thing in his hand, like a trophy. And it was horrifying. Not because it happened, but because I calculated it. And in the pie chart of my sex life, the percentage of people that have grabbed me down there is now 12.5% handicapped male. <laughs> It's 25 if you count my uncle. Uh, all right, I'll see you all in hell.